Hello everyone, this video is kind of pointless this evening as we have a very rare, really nothing going on session. There are no new long signals, there are no new ad signals. Only one stock I might possibly need to buy back later on, but overall, and there's a one partial sell and one full sell, so it's going to be pretty do nothing. But the market overall continues to just be completely range bound with a short term bearish, you know, and I guess you could say trend to it overall. But, you know, the thing is, is that it's definitely not bullish. And like I said, everybody that thinks that the bottom is in yesterday, it nothing really supports that view. Just going to look at the VIX, as you can see once again, while VIX, I think, was able to get above the previous July highs by one penny, that does not <laughs> indicate fear. Sorry. So really, we still have absolutely no fear out there. And then we have no volume that really confirms that it was, you know, oh, my God, like we're definitely bottoming here with that kind of volume surge. And at the same time, all of the oscillators on the NASDAQ, as you can see, are still racing lower. So nothing really that bullish there. Russell 2000, those oscillators are still racing lower. Same with all these. So everything is still trending down. There is no internal momentum oscillators that are indicating that we need to rally. In fact, they're all confirming the current slow downtrend in this market. And our new long positions, while they, you know, did okay, you know, there's still nothing that great out there. And this evening, I was only able to flag a few stocks. And there's some stocks that seem to be bucking the overall market, and we seem to be long and or are watching them, so that's always a good thing. But Home B was one that I flagged <coughs> this evening with its pocket pivot point signal. Obviously, it's too far extended from its 200-day moving average in this kind of market environment to be long, but... You know, that's when I'm watching. Post was a potential long position tonight, actually, despite it being a little extended post earnings. Post, get it. But it finished way too far off the high of the day, making it go from a long signal to looking like it's possibly topping out. Probably not, but short term, it has that look of that's just way too much volume and too big of a reversal off the highs to be good. USNA, USANA Health Science is consolidating following its earnings win. I wish BOP was holding steady and or growing, but still, it's at least it's green tight price action, so it could be along later on. And BLDR, a former position signal, wow, a former stock that we had a position in is now consolidating again, could potentially be along with its max green BOP and its low volume during this consolidation pattern. If it breaks higher, it's good. I'm not... Uh, buy stop you could always probably set buy stops on it in fact i'm actually going to add this to my personal trading diary right here so you know maybe i will do buy stops on it unless earnings are coming up if earnings are out of the way though i will be fine but overall like i said it's you know pretty slim pickings out there then there's also maa pocket pivot point signal and that follows that fr signal we got yesterday and nice intraday reversal <clears throat> off the lows today so fri still looks good and now it's brother MAA also looks like it wants to join the move up. But REITs showing up in my scan today and some aerospace and defense stocks I noticed today trading around new highs. And, of course, they're joining the utilities. Pam was in my scan again today with, you know, these stocks looking like they want to move higher. But, unfortunately, oil doesn't look like it really wants to maybe join as quickly as the other sectors because today oil actually pulled back today and that means that we had a partial sell signal in our recent new long XES was a new long signal fortunately we got a good fill this morning so this loss doesn't hurt as much but it's about a three and a half percent loss uh, on half the position my first sell stop was below 2164 closed at 2152 today but even if you didn't have a sell stop on the book half needs to be sold off because it's closing below both the 10 and 20 day moving average and since this is so soon off the lows i wanted it to trend above its 10 day moving average since it did not 50 percent sell on xes the final sell stop are these lows right here so 2070 so if it hits 2069 i'll be fully out of xes and the only other sell signal today was SRNE. SRNE has a confirmation above average volume close below the 50-day moving average before producing huge gains. So it is now a full sell signal. So from the first long signal to now on an end-of-day basis, 5% gain. And from that ad signal, I think 8%, yep. 8% gain, but SRNE confirmation closed below the 50 day moving average, 100% sell. And then the only sell intraday that got me that reverse higher, MID was a earnings loser 
that turned into a big reversal. So it opened, and when it opened, it went below these lows right here, triggering my first sell stop, and it moved below these lows right here, triggering my second sell stop. And of course, then it reverses higher. So while I was taken out around 111, the stock's closing at 119. So if it can consolidate and break out above these highs, I'll probably put the position back on. But for now, not really interested. The only buy stop I'm interested maybe in putting on is BLDR, and I really need to look into it. And man, H still is out there for my stupid trade of putting another sell stop in and it triggering it on the 12th. But overall, the market still doesn't look that healthy. Doesn't look terrible either. We still have leaders, but you know it wouldn't take much to get this thing getting ugly. If we close below the 812 lows and the 200-day moving average on the Nasdaq, I believe we'll be able to crack wide open. And remember, we're still in August and September, the two worst months of the year, so I wouldn't expect any magic here. But no new long signals, one only potential ad, ICUI, and that is nowhere long enough following its earnings victory with it being that far away from the 200-day moving average to be considered a long signal. But it's a hopeful, hopeful pattern. Maybe it will work out. But for now, nothing to do today.